With a brand new academy house and world class facilities under construction, the future of Warriors Academy is looking bright. And Academy Forwards transition coach Kerry Jones is pleased with the new batch of youngsters. So far, so good. Obviously, we're only a sort of day in, well, two days in now. Um, but I was really pleased with it today. The way the youngsters have come up through, I think we've got a really strong squad emerging and um, hopefully we can do well this year. It's a lot different from going to school every day. They're coming in, they're doing weight sessions, they're having nutritional advice and then doing two rugby sessions with us. So it is quite a grueling schedule, especially when you're, you're off from school for the summer. But to be fair to the guys, they've looked really good so far, so I'm really pleased with them. Warriors also have a number of players in the England setup and Jones believes their experience on the international scene will really aid their development. Well, I think to have to have guys in the England setup is is huge for us. You know, the wealth of knowledge that they can bring back from having access to those top class coaches, uh, facilities, and players can only be good for Worcester Warriors. Seventeen-year-old Joseph Morris is one of Warriors' most promising youngsters, and he believes the facilities at Sixways are second to none. The players are really nice, and the stadium's great. Like the, especially the academy, um, the facilities are really good. So we want like one of the only clubs we have an indoor pitch that we can train on in the winter. So I hear a lot of from other clubs where they're going out in the winter in the rain, having to train, and uh, we've got the, the great facilities to have our winter training indoors. And then when it comes to game time, crunch time, then we'll start going outside. Looking forward to. Um, playing the big teams like Leicester and Gloucester and Northampton try and get one back on them uh, last year we came so close and it looks like we've got a pretty good team with uh, the youngsters coming up who look really strong that we might actually might be able to beat them this year